Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions with the Vignette 485 demo kit. Last time we were looking at locking out stations when DMX is present and this time we're going to talk about simple zone control. Uh, so we have our lights here and we have already recorded some snapshots so uh, when we press the buttons we get crossfades between the snapshots and uh, as the lights are fading, the colors of the buttons change. And when the, when the transition is done, it goes solid blue. So, and when you turn it off, it goes lavender and then goes right out. So with zone control, we have set this demo kit up to have red, green, and blue sliders. So if I do this, I get the red sliders and the green sliders and the blue sliders. And if I wanted to mix a color, so if I do a bit of red and a little bit of green, I get an amber look. And if I go on to my architectural gateway and I press record enable, even though the vignette itself is controlling these levels, I can press and hold a button here And then I have this new snapshot, which is my amber. So that is zone control on the sliders, uh, recording them to a snapshot itself. So that is often something people want to do. They want to pre-event, mix something they like, then stick it on a button, and then from any location they can recall that snapshot, and it fades in in nice time. So how did we set this up? Well, again, let's grab the laptop here and look at Passcape. And uh, if we look at the uh, playback number one, we go to the vignettes tab. There are the four playbacks, which are on the architectural gateway. I have disabled number two, three, and four. So I'm just looking at playback number one. And we can look at the snapshots that we've already recorded. There's snapshot number one. And I could go and I could load snapshot number two, etc. cetera. Just load snapshot number three. These are the looks that we looked at. But if we go to zone control, now I'm gonna load zone number one. Now I did say that this tape was red, green, blue. So slot one is red and green, blue, slot four is red and so on. So when I define this zone, what I did is I started at slot one. I went for 170 times, jumping three each time and I put in a minimum value of 0% and a maximum of value of um, 255. And then to define the next zone, I started at channel two, and again, I went 170, skipping three with a minimum, and that's the greens. And if I load the blues, they start on three. We could define a zone to do anything. So let's start with this new zone which I'm going to put on this fourth slider. And I'm going to start on, again, slot one. These will be the reds. So we're going to skip every three. Oops, sorry. We're going to do this for 20 lights in the string. And we're going to skip every three. And we're going to start with a minimum of value of zero, which uh, is interesting because if you never want these lights to go out, you can define a value of 20% and then doesn't matter the position of the slider, the lights will always be on. I'm going to do a value of zero and a maximum value of 255. And then, uh, so the next channel range doesn't always have to be just one range of channels. The next channel range is uh, three times 20 is 60. So if we, the next one would be 61, but I want the green. So I'm going to go to 62 and I'm again going to go for 20 lights and I'm going to skip every three with a zero and a 255 as the maximum. And let's save that as zone number four, which is on this handle. So now when we bring this handle up, we get, we get uh, the first 20 lights in red and the next 20 lights in green. And we can have proportional control over that or the full green or the full red or whatever. So you can imagine if you have work lights on the first 20 channels, uh, you can put in them and then maybe you have relays that you want to put on another button. Uh, they would be there. Oh, speaking of buttons, uh, we can actually define these right here as non-dims. 
we actually have a red, a green, and a blue zone here, but we also have zone control on the buttons. So pressing the first button will give me red, next button will give me green, these will give me blue, and this one will give me my mixed look. And you can see how this would be useful for relays. So you just turn on your non-dim relays and turn them off. So that's uh, zone control in vignette. And next time we're going to talk about some of the other properties that you can get at with the architectural gateway through the Passscape software. So please join me then. I am Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions.